Hello. Good evening, everyone. My name is Samita Arun, and I am your English tutor for the day. So, how was your day today? Did you have exams? Or was it study leave? Or are you done with your exams? I really want to know. So if you are still having your exams and you're finding it a little bit difficult to understand English, I am here to help you. Okay? So if it's not just talking and talking. I am going to present a screen, show you a PPT where I have created a portion for today, an agenda. We will do few chapters from the beginning of sixth grade. We will play quiz. Yes. So please don't take it as a test. I know you're doing a lot of tests lately. This is only going to be a fun part for you where you will have fun and learn all together. Okay. So in anywhere, anytime you find any difficulty, please reach out to me. I'm here to help you. Yes. So shall we start the class? Okay. So I will present and share my screen and let me know if there are any problems in viewing. Yes. So welcome to the all-in-one program that we started just a few days ago and it's going to be a huge hit among kids. Yes, you love to learn in groups or you love one-on-one -on -one learning. Whatever it is, we are trying to do it the right way. Okay. So, welcome to the class. But today, I really want, before we start the class, I really want you to be ready for it. Yes, I want you to be ready physically, mentally, and virtually. Are you ready for the class? Are your books ready with you? Your honeysuckle and packed with sun? Both books I need you to have with you. Then, are you ready to learn mentally? Because if you're not ready through your brain, it's of no use. And is everything fine with your tab, PC, Wi-Fi and everything? If there is any issues, please let me know. Okay? You can put anything, any problems in the chat box or in the comment section. Yes? So, I will read it and I will address the issue. Okay? Even the doubts. Let's not create any disturbance for ourselves and let this session go very smoothly. So for that, I need your 100% attention. Yes, I don't want 75 or 50. If there is 75, you let me know. I will try and give you some fun elements so that I get back your attention. Yes, so I want you to be as interactive as possible. We're going to play a quiz. It's, it's going to be a playing thing, not a quiz quiz thing. Okay. So we are going to play. And I want you to tell me the answers. Yes. I want you to tell the answers. Not wait for me to click the correct answer. I want you to tell me the answer and see for yourself if the answers are correct or not. And let us make the best utilization of our time and resource. We have one hour. Let's do whatever we can the best way possible. Okay, so let's start. So to, for today, we have an agenda set. We're going to revise two chapters from Honeysuckle and two chapters from Pact with the Sun. Okay, so we are going to do who did Patrick's homework and also there is a poem, A House, A Home. Then there's the second one, How the Dog Found Himself a New Master, the poem Kite. Then for Pact with the Sun, it's going to be A Tale of Two Words and Friendly Mongoose. Okay, so, so let's start. 
why don't we do first two things together okay and then we will go to the quiz part so we are going to do who did patrick's homework and a house and a home yes so let me just open up the text and i want you all to do the same okay yes that's my text and that's the chapter who did patrick's homework i'm sure you must have read the whole chapter you are very clear with the story but even then before we go to the quiz we'll do a quick brush up of all the chapters yes so you get to know the tiny little things that you may have missed or forgotten so let's just do a little bit of a brush up so that we are good to go for the quiz yes so patrick was a little bit of a lazy boy why he never did his homework he was, was he said it was too boring do you also feel homeworks to be boring i loved homeworks especially maths english science hindi all were fun were, weren't they yeah it becomes boring when you have to just see and copy down when there are things to challenge you it becomes interesting doesn't it yes so maybe patrick felt the same too so he played hockey basketball and nintendo instead okay so all the video games all the playing outside it is actually good you when you play your mind becomes sharp but you also have to study to utilize that sharpness right yes so his teachers told him patrick do your homework or you won't learn a thing and it's true sometimes he did feel like an ignoramus ignoramus is a person who is very ignorant he doesn't care about the others okay he has no idea of things so if i tell you how do you pack something or how will you take up something how will you do a simple maths problem or just solve a simple english question how will you understand if you don't know the basics or if you don't read you don't know the words correct so you have to study but what could he do he hated homework oh my god that's not right okay one second yeah so one day he found his cat playing with a little doll he grabbed it away to his surprise it was not a doll but it was the tiny a man of the tiniest size can you imagine a man this small like a doll okay he ha had a little wool shirt with old fashion trousers okay short trousers so he he wore old fashion uh, trousers with a wool shirt and a high tall hat much like a witch he yelled save me don't give me back to the cat i'll grant you a wish i promise you that and patrick couldn't believe he was like yes i got a wish i can use it in my behalf what do you think did patrick say he said only if you do all my homework till the end of the semester that's 45 days you have to do all my homework maybe then i can get it all the a's too if you so do you think what patrick asked was right the elf the little man does all the homework and patrick gets his a's is it right hmm i don't feel so but let's see what happened did the little man actually do the homework the little man's face wrinkled like a dish cloth thrown in the hamper he kicked his legs and doubled his fists and he grimaced and scowled and pursed his lips oh i'm cursed but i'll do it okay so all these words show that he was very upset angry and disappointed and disinterested okay he really didn't want to do that but he said i'll do it because he had granted a wish so and true to his word the elf the little elf began to do patrick's homework except there was one glitch there was one small slight problem 
he had, didn't always know what to do and he needed help. So he always shouted, help me, help me. So Patrick had to help him in any way he could. I don't know this word, the elf squeaked while reading Patrick's homework. Give me a dictionary. No, what's even better? Look up the word and sound it out by each out by each letter. So he started asking Patrick to help him out to take out the dictionary and read out each words for him. When it came to maths, Patrick was best, was out of luck. What are times tables? The elf sheet. We elves never need that. Addition and subtraction and division and fraction. Here, sit down beside me. You simply must guide me. So now the elf asked Patrick to open all the books and help him do all the homework. He just kept on asking the questions. Patrick had to search all the books and find the answer and tell him to the elf. So elves know nothing about human history. To them, it's a mystery. So the little elf already a shout, which just got louder. Go to the library. I need books, more and more books. And you can help me read them too. As a matter of fact, every day in every way, that little elf was a nag. He kept troubling Patrick every day with this doubt, that doubt. Help me. And Patrick was working so hard days, nights, nights, and he was all very tired. Okay, he was very, 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 sorry, very, he was very tired and was going to school with all the eyes puffed because he was not sleeping well. Okay, so finally on the last day of school, the elf was free because the semester was done. He was asked to do all his homework till that semester. So 35 days were done. Okay, as for homework, there was no more. And so he quickly slipped out of the back door. So he went. He did not say anything and just left because he was done with the wish. Okay, and Patrick was done with the semester. So Patrick, can you imagine Patrick got all A's? His classmates were amazed. His teachers smiled and were full of praise. And his parents, they wondered what had happened to Patrick. He was now the model kid cleaned his room, did his chores, was cheerful, never rude, like he had developed a whole new attitude. You see, in the end, Patrick still thought he'd make that tiny man do all his homework. But I'll share a secret. Just between you and me, it was in the end. Patrick had done it himself. So, how was the story? So, what had actually happened in the story? So what do you think? Who did the homework? The elf or, the, or, or Patrick himself? Of course, Patrick had to do all the work day in and day out. And he, he did everything. He sat down, he did all his homework and got all the A's. So now we will also finish this poem. Okay, and then go to the quiz. So now, this is about a house and a home. It's like a differentiating, okay? They are differentiating what a house is and a home is. So a house and home actually mean the same, but there are a lot of little, little things that differentiate. Let's see what are these, these, and then we will talk about it. So what is a house? It's brick and stone and wood, that's hard. Some window glass and perhaps a yard. It's eaves and chimneys and tile floors and stucco and roof and lots of doors. So a house is made of bricks, stone, woods, glass, chimneys, tiles, roof and doors and everything else. Yes. And what is a home made of? It is lovely and family and doing for others. It's brothers and sisters and fathers and mothers. It's unselfish acts and kindly sharing and showing your loved ones you are always caring. Yes, so do you get the difference between a house and a home? A house is just a building. 
a home is a place where you create memories with your loved ones where you create that fun or that love care where you where you are open where you show your feelings yes so that place is a home correct so let's see how are you guys going to do this quiz okay so let me type my name and i'm going to join the quiz okay it's circling and let's wait for it time to climb okay which one do we take i take this and we join the game oh wow let's see are you ready to test your knowledge yes or okay 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 Oh, okay, we are running out. Climbing out. Okay, so what's the first question? To do Patrick's homework. Okay, I stop the music. To do Patrick's homework, in what subjects did the little man need help? Was it English, addition, subtraction, division, fractions, English, mathematics, and history, or science? What do you think, Patrick? Patrick's homework were for the elf to do. I think it was English, mathematics, and history. All oh, out of time. That's okay. We try to do faster the next time. So there's a time on. Let's run up. The little man, that is the elf, did Patrick's homework. Oh, did elf do, the, do Patrick's homework? No, Patrick did all his homework, so it can't be true. It has to be false. Yes, we did it. That's correct. Let's see what the next one is. So, yes, Patrick wished. Okay, what was... Oops, I did not click that. The elf do all his homework the whole semester. I'm so sorry. I clicked it by mistake. And we missed one. Okay, that's okay. So the meaning of very is wearing a mask, very tired and sleepy, huh? I don't think it's wearing a mask. It has to be very tired. What do you think? Oh, yes, we are right. Let's try the next question. And three, two, one, and go. Home is a place where you are always cared. True or false? Home is a place. Is house a place where you're cared or home? So it has to be home and we are correct. So yes, home is the place where we are always cared. So the next question is, house is made up of one person, brick, stone, wood, glass, Bedroom, hall, kitchen with lots of love. House is not made of lots of love. House need not be one person. It does have bedroom, hall, kitchen, but not necessarily all. So, But it is surely brick, stone, wood and glass. Yes. So that's correct. So are we done? Oh, yes, we did all the questions. It was a great, nice work. And I got 2,621 points. Okay, so let's get back to our story time. Now, so the next story that we are going to do is how the dog found himself a new master and the kite. We will be having another quiz after we are done reading these two. So are you ready for it? Next, we have to do the reading for how the dog found himself a new master. 
So we all know humans have been the dog's master, right? But did the dog find a new master now or was it before? Let's read out. Dogs were once their own masters and lived the way wolves do. Okay, so wolves and dogs are kind of related. They used to be in the similar family, right? So in freedom, until a dog was born who was ill pleased with this way of life, he was sick and tired of wandering about by himself and looking for food and being frightened of those who were stronger than him. So he was all fed up for looking for food for himself, wandering here and there, and then getting scared of other stronger animals. So he wanted someone who would do all this for him and he just had to be his slave or do good to him. Okay, so he thought it over and decided the best thing for him to do was to become the servant of one who was stronger than anyone on earth. And he set out to find such a master. So now he wanted to find the most strong master so that he will not have to be scared of anyone. The master will help him find food easily and he just had to be his servant. So he walked and walked and he met a kinsman of his, a big wolf who was as strong as he was fierce. So he was, the wolf was big and fierce, okay? Fierce as strangers, scary. So he went up to him and asked, I am looking for someone to take up service with. Would you like to be my master wolf? And the wolf thought, why not? What's the harm in it? So he said, come along. Why don't, yes, you can be my servant and I'll be your master. So, one day they were walking and the wolf lifted his nose, sniffed and darted quickly off the path. He just went away. I mean, in another direction, he started running into the bushes and he, he went inside the forest as if he was scared. The dog was surprised. He asked, what has frightened you so? So, the wolf said, can't you see? Bear is out. If he sees us, he might eat both of us. Seeing that... The dog realized the wolf was scared of the bear. So that means the bear is stronger than the wolf. So why am I with the wolf? I need to be with a stronger person. So he left his job as servant to the wolf and went to the bear. And the bear was happily happy to take him as a servant. So one day they went to find a herd of cows. I'll kill a cow and we, then we can both eat our fill. So they walked on and soon saw a herd of cows. But just as they were about to come up to it, they were stopped by a terrible noise. The cows were moving loudly, running in panic in all directions. The bear looked out from behind the tree and then he too ran hastily deeper into the forest. So what do you think scared the bear? The dog thought the bear was the strongest. What is it that that is scaring the bear? The cows were running here and there. The bear also was scared. Now the dog asked, what happened to you? He said, it is the lion who rules the forest. If he sees us, he'll keep pull us apart. He'll make us into pieces. So then he realized that the bear is not the strongest and the lioness. So he said goodbye to the bear and went to the lion. The lion agreed to it and the dog stayed with him and served him for a long, long time. Because in the jungle, there was no other animal who was stronger than the lion. So he stayed with him. He had no complaints because he was no, he was the strongest beast in the forest. Okay, so there was no one who dared to touch the dog because he was the lion's servant or offend him in any way. Everyone listened to them. But one day the two of them were walking side by side along a path 
quadrant amid a bare cliff, when all of a sudden the lion stopped. He gave a great roar and struck the ground angrily with his paw, such force that a hole formed there. There he began to back away very quietly. What is it, master? Is anything wrong? asked the dog, surprised. Because why should the lion be scared? Because the lion is the strongest beast in the jungle. The lion had no one to be scared of. So what did the lion say? I smell a man coming this way. The lion said, we'd better run for it or we'll be in trouble. Oh, well, then I'll say goodbye to you, lion. I want a master who's stronger than anyone on earth. And that's how the dog became man's faithful and loyal servant. Okay? And knows no other servant. So the dog is called the man's loyal servant. Right? So that was an interesting story. Let's get to the poem. Then we have another quiz. So how bright, so the name of the poem is The Kite. Have you guys played with the kite? I have never actually, but there will be many who must have done it. I really want you to tell me your experience. Type in the comment section and let me know how do you find, okay, by the doing. The kite, do you love it? Do you know it? Or are you still learning? Or you maybe your parents, your brothers, your cousins may be doing it and you love looking at it or you love making a kite. Yes, making a kite is such an easy job. It's so fun to do it. Yes? Okay, so how bright on the blue is a kite when it's new? So how bright on the blue? What do you think is the blue here? the sky blue sky so when on the blue sky the kite looks like it's new with a dive dive and a dip it snaps its tail it dives and a dip dip is going down and it snaps its tail it has a tail right so it snaps its tail then soars like a ship with only a sail has over tides of wind it rides Climbs to the crest of a gust and pulls, then seems to rest as winds fall. So what what pulls the kite up? The wind, right? So when there are no winds, the kite seems to fall. So when strings go slack, you wind it back. So when the strings are getting loose, you wind it back. You have a thing with this rope, right? Tight? So you start winding it back. And run until a new breeze blows. So you run with the kite so that there is a new breeze and it catches it and it starts to fly. So that's how kites work. Okay. And its wings fill and it up and up it goes. So when the wind is pushing it up, so it starts going in, going up. So how bright and blue is kite is a kite when it's new. But a ragged thing you never will see when it flaps on a string on the top of a tree. So a ragged is a broken, a tone. Tone kind you will never see. You, are, you cannot find a tone kind because if it will be stuck on the top of a tree and it's difficult to get that. Yes. So next, let me share let me share the quiz for the next round. Yes. So let me try and join this thing for a minute. I am going to get things ready. Okay. So how did you like the story? The dog's new master and the kite. I want you to tell me about it. Okay. So by the time I join join to the other quiz, 
you can think of how do you play with a kite? Or what color kites do you love to make? So let's start sharing. I will share the screen and then we can start playing the game. So again, I will put my name, I will join the lesson. Okay, it's going around. It takes a little bit of time to get to open up. Okay, so we can be ready for the class, for the quiz by then, yes? Okay, just a second. Let me try if this is okay. Okay, where is my game? So I can now share it again. Okay. So I really want everyone to play this game. So let's start with the bear. Okay. Waiting for players. Okay, let's start the game. Who are the kingsmen of the dog? Who is the kingsmen of the dog? Bear, fox, lion, or wolf? I think it was the wolf. Are we correct? Oh, yes, we are. Okay, that's correct. So, wolf, that's right. Next, shall we do? The bear was scared of the hunter. Was the bear scared of the hunter? Uh-uh, no, the bear was scared of the lion. Correct, so this is false. Correct, nice job. That's correct. And then there's the next question that's ready. Why did the dog serve the lion for a long, long time? There was no stronger beast than the lion. Yes, it does sound like the right one. Let's read the others too. The dog had no complaints with the lion. The dog was scared of the lion. All the animals were scared of the dog. I think there were no stronger beasts than the lion. Yes, that's correct. Let's see what the next question is. Cool. Dog is man's most loyal. Servant, unfaithful, no. Helpful, no. Almost, no. Well, it has to be loyal, right? Yay! It is correct. So now let's see what is the next. How bright on the blue is a kite when it's new? What does blue mean in these lines? I just told you what blue means in this line. The kite is blue. No, it has no specific meaning, just a rhyming word for new. Blue, new. Oh, yes, blue and new are rhyming words, but blue has a meaning. We know that, correct? The blue sky, correct. That's the answer. It's the blue sky. That's obvious, correct? It does rhyme, but obviously it has a meaning. We did it right. So, meaning of braggadoc. What does raggedy mean? Type of an animal? Mm -hmm. Worn or torn? Yes, that means worn or torn. So are we done with the quiz? And what is our score? Yes, we have finished it and we got 2,801 points. Yoo-hoo! That was great, isn't it? 
So now let's get back to the reading session again. And then we can have a few more questions or we can go back to the text. So before I start the next one, how are you feeling about this class? Isn't it fun? Because we are playing games. We are learning also. But do you realize that we are learning? It's just fun, right? Okay, so let's continue. So for the next two, we are going to do a tale of two birds and the friendly mongoose. Okay, I'm sure you must have read these two chapters, but a very long time ago, maybe last year, almost a year ago. Yes, and I think that you remember the story. And if you do not, don't worry, we're going to brush up again. So let's start with the story a tale of two birds so there once lived a bird and her two newborn babies in a forest they had a nest in a tall shady tree and there the mother bird took care of her little ones day and night one day there was a big storm there was a there was thunder lightning and rain and the wind blew down many trees the tall tree in which the birds lived also came down. A big, heavy branch hit the nest and killed the bird. Oh, that's so poor. What happened to the baby birds? Fortunately for the baby birds, the strong wind blew them away to the other side of the forest. One of them came down near a cave where a gang of robbers lived. The other land outside a rishi's ashram a little distance away so you see there was a storm bad wind and everything and the tree was hit by wind and the nest broke and killed the bird okay but the baby birds somehow got saved and they were blown away to the other side of the forest so one bird went, was came down near a cave where there were robbers living, okay? And the other bird came near a rishi's ashram, okay? So let's see what happened to these two little baby birds. The days passed and the baby birds became big birds. One day, the king of the country came to the forest to hunt. He saw a deer and rode after it. Okay, so there was a king who came to the forest to hunt and he was riding behind the deer to catch it. So it ran deep into the forest, forest followed by the king. Soon the king lost his way and didn't know where he was. He rode on for a long time till he came to the other side of the forest. So the other side of the forest is where the baby birds are. One is with the robbers and other with the rishi. Correct? I guess. Yeah. So very tired by now, he caught off his horse and sat down near a tree that stood near a cave. Suddenly, he heard a voice cry out. Quick, hurry up. There's someone under the tree. Come and take his jewels and his horse. Hurry or else he'll slip away. The king was amazed. He looked up and saw a big, brown bird on the tree under which he was sitting. He also he heard faint noises issuing from the cave. He quickly got on to his horse and rode away as fast as he could. Be it a king, you do not want to mess up with a gang of robbers, right? So he just ran away from there. So he came to a clearing which looked like an ashram. Soon he came to a place where it was like an ashram, a small, hot, peaceful, calm. It was a rishi's ashram. The king tied his horse to a tree and sat down in its shade. Suddenly, he heard a gentle voice announce, Welcome to the ashram, sir. Please go inside and rest. The rishi will be back soon. There's some cold water in the pot. 
please make yourself comfortable. Wow, that was very sweet of the bird, right? So the king looked up and saw a big brown bird in the tree. He was amazed. This one looks like the other bird outside the cave. He said to himself loudly, You are right, sir, answered the bird. He is my brother, but he has made friends with the robbers. He now talks as they do. He doesn't talk to me anymore. Oh, the birds have separated and they have different people, different influences in their life. So the way they talk, the way they think has changed. So you see how the people around you can affect your thought and your speech. Yes, the way the gentleness or the rudeness can also be influenced from good or bad people. So now we know with whom we should be to keep ourselves in the good books. Correct? Just then, the Rishi entered the ashram. Welcome, sir, he said to the king. Please come inside and make yourself at home. You look tired. Rest for a while. Then you can share my food. Oh, see, the bird was saying the same to the king as the Rishi. So he listens to the Rishi talk softly to other people. And the bird says the same. So now you understood why the bird near the cave, the other bird, was talking so rudely and badly because he hears the same from the robbers. The robbers were never sweet to anyone. They only dropped. They only wanted others in pain. So the king told the Rishi the story of two birds and how each had behaved so differently, though they looked so alike. So looking same doesn't make a difference when you, the way you behave is totally bad. So what you are from inside is more important than what you show. Okay? The forest is full of surprises, he said. The holy man smiled and said, after all, one is known by the company one keeps. So you are known by whom you are with. If you are with good people, everyone will say that you are also good. If you are with people with bad influence, then there can be chances that you will also be called same. Okay, so that bird had always heard the talk of robbers. He imitates them and talks about robbing people. This one has repeated what he has always heard. He welcomes people to the ashram. Now, come inside and rest. I'll tell you more about this place and these birds. That was a very nice and lovely story, correct? So let's finish off the next chapter too. And then we will go to the quiz. Yes. Isn't it fun? Yes. Okay. So the name of the story is the friendly mongoose. Okay. What do you think? Mongooses are friendly or dangerous? To mongoose harm us? I have never been near a mongoose. I am actually scared. If I see a mongoose near me, I may get scared. I don't know if mongooses are fair friendly or not. Let's see from the story if they are really friendly or not. Once a farmer and his wife lived in a village with their small son. They loved him very much. So you see the baby? That is their son. The farmer and his wife. They loved him very much. We must have a pet. The farmer said to his wife one day, When our son grows up, he will need a company. This pet will be our son's company. His wife liked the idea. Because there needs to be someone to play with him. Correct? So let's keep a pet. That's a good idea. Who doesn't like a pet, right? Everyone likes pets. They are such cute, friendly and lovely creatures. Yes? They give us good company. They love us. They care for us. Yes? So one evening, the farmer brought him, brought with him a tiny mongoose. It's a baby mongoose, said his wife. But will soon be fully grown. He will be a friend to our son. 
Oh, so they bought a baby mongoose as a pet to their baby. That is nice, interesting, isn't it? But both the baby and the mongoose grow, grew. In five or six months, the mongoose had grown to its full size. So the mongoose was a big, not a baby anymore, a big one. But in five or six months, okay? But babies don't grow and become big in five or six months. What? How much time do we take? We take around 18 years from the baby to be uh, an adult. Yes, to be called an adult. From babies, we at least need 15 to 18 years, correct? So, a lovely animal with two shining black eyes and a bushy tail. The farmer's son was still a baby in the cradle sleeping and crying alternately. One day, the farmer's wife wanted to go to the market. She fed the baby, dropped him to sleep in his little cradle. Picking up the basket, she said to her husband, I am off to the bazaar. The baby is sleeping. Keep an eye on him. Frankly, I don't like to leave the child alone with the mongoose. So the wife wanted to go to the market. So she told her husband, you have to be here and keep an eye on the baby. He's sleeping. So don't leave the baby alone with the mongoose. So the farmer said, you need not be afraid. You needn't be afraid, said the farmer. The mongoose is a friendly animal. It is as sweet as our baby and they are best friends. You know that, right? So the wife went away and the farmer, having nothing to do in the house, decided to go out and take a look at his fields not far away. He ran into some friends on the way back and didn't return for quite some time. Oh, that was not correct, right? The farmer went away leaving the baby and the mongoose alone at home. What do you think would have happened? Did the mongoose take care of the baby? Let's see. The farmer's wife finished her shopping and came back home with a basket full of groceries. She saw the mango sitting outside as if waiting for her. On seeing her, he ran to welcome her as was customary. So this was always happening. As soon as this, the mango saw the farmer or the wife coming, he would run to them to welcome them. That is so sweet. All pets do that, right? They get so happy seeing their owner. So the farmer's wife took one look at the mongoose and screamed, blood! Oh my God, there was blood! The face and paws of the mongoose was smeared with blood. What do you think happened? You wicked animal, you have killed my baby! Did the mongoose kill the baby? She screamed hysterically. She was blind with rage and with all her strength brought down the heavy basket full of groceries on the blood smeared mongoose and ran inside to the child's cradle. She was so scared and angry, she threw the basket full of groceries on the head of the mongoose, okay? And then she ran to, the, to see the baby. The baby was sleeping, was still sleeping, but on the floor like, lay a black snake Stone and bleeding. Okay, there was a snake who came to attack the baby and the mongoose actually torn the snake apart and killed it. And that's how he had blood on his paws and face. In a flash, she realized what had happened. She ran out looking for the mongoose. Oh, you saved my child. You killed the snake. What have I done? She cried, touching the mongoose, who lay dead and still, unaware of her sobbing. The farmer's wife, who had acted hastily and rashly, stared long at the dead mongoose. Then she heard the baby crying, wiping her tears. She went in to feed, the, feed him. That was so sad, a sad ending, right? So what do we learn from the story? We should not react hastily, right? Without thinking. We should not be reacting. And anger should never be a reason to react. 
in any situation, correct? So that was a sad ending, but yes, we have learned something good from the story, correct? So let's lighten this up and let's have a quiz. So let me get things ready for you and then we can play the quiz. So what all chapters did we do right now? We did A Tale of Two Birds and The Friendly Mongoose, correct? So which among these were your favorite? I loved The Tale of Two Birds. I love The Friendly Mongoose too because you get to learn something. You get to learn a new lesson, correct? So, yes, that was nice. Okay, so I'm going to Okay, so let's do this quiz part now. I will have questions from these two chapters that we just read. Okay, and, and we will see how much we understood. Okay, so my name is Sumita. Let's join the lesson and see what the quiz is having for us. Are we able to answer it? Okay, so I'm going to start. Okay, let me select. I'm going to select this. Yay, that's me. Okay. In this game, come to the forest to catch the robbers. No, to hunt. Yes, to visit the Rishi's ashram. No, he lost his way. He did lost his way, but he came to the forest to hunt, right? Yes, he lost his way after he entered the forest. So it's not. Moral of the story, okay, the bird, the tale of two birds is a bird in hand is worth two in bush. A friend in need is a friend indeed. Mm -hmm. Birds of the same feather flock together. One is known by the company one keeps. Yes, that is what is the moral. We learned that we have to be in good company so that we learn good things. So which bird spoke in a gentle voice? The bird in the ashram or the bird that lived in the cave? Obviously, the bird in the ashram spoke gently. That was a very sweet bird. He had learned some good things, right? So what did the farmer bring home as a pet? A fully grown mongoose, his friend's baby, a baby snake, a baby mongoose. Did he bring a fully grown mongoose or a baby mongoose? Obviously, he did not bring a snake or a baby. So, I think he bought a baby mongoose. Correct. Yes. He did bring a baby mongoose and they both grew together. So what's the next one? The wife did not like to leave the baby alone with the mongoose when going to the market. Is it true or false or did she like to leave? No, she didn't. So it has to be true. So we are done five questions after six. So this is going to be the last one for the day. Do you think it was a good idea to have mongoose as a pet? 
no mongoose may have harmed the baby. Yes, mongoose saved the baby. What do you think? The mongoose never harmed the baby, but it did save the baby. So I think yes can be said. Maybe it was a good idea, right? Otherwise, the snake would have killed it, killed the baby. So nice work. Okay, so we got 2,646 points. Great job. So before we end the session, I really want you to see this part. We're done with this? Yes. So whatever may be the results that we got in the quiz, or if you did not remember the story, it does not matter. You may encounter many defeats, but you must not be defeated. In fact, it may be necessary because now you know how much of the chapter or how much idea you have about it. And now you can work on it. And if it's difficult for you to work alone, they are your parents. Talk to them or there is us. We are always ready to help you, to be with you and guide you. We are never going to give you answers. It will be you who are, who's going to find all your answers, okay? So that you can rise above, okay? So never be defeated. You can do it. So the next session, you are going to excel. So that's all for today's session. I hope you loved it. And I really want you to give me a feedback in the comment section about today's class. Okay? Because your comments will help me improve and help each and every one of us to improve. We want to do. We want to do our best for you. Okay? So... That's all that we have for today's class. I hope you enjoyed it. And you are going to improve every day. Yes? Great job. So see you for the next class. Bye-bye.